Hello and welcome to the Game Shed. On this episode, I'm giving away a $50 Xbox gift card. As you can see, I haven't scratched the code yet. And when I pick a winner, I will DM you the code. Second place winner will win a digital movie code from one of these movies. Um, and I might have a few other movies that you can pick from. So if the first place winner doesn't have an Xbox, you can get a digital movie code and I'll pick someone else for the Xbox. And I'll also show some pickups of Xbox games and some other games I've picked up recently. Anyway, I'm drinking this Sonic the Hedgehog Speed Energy Drink, and look, it's blue. Maybe it'll make me run as fast as Sonic the Hedgehog. Tastes pretty good. Got it at Hot Topic. It was like $4, which is expensive for an energy drink, but I thought it was cool. Sonic the Hedgehog. And I also got the Dragon Ball Z Spirit Bomb energy drink. Alright, well, let's get started. I put the names of subscribers that commented on two videos and follow the rules of my pinned tweet on Twitter. It's about 20 names in this hat. And I'll close my eyes and pick out a name. All right. Let's shake it up. Shake it up. <laughs> Who is going to win? The $50 Xbox gift card. You could buy a new game like Resident Evil Village or use it for Game Pass or Scarlet Nexus or Mafia. There's a bunch of good games you could get. Buy a game that's not on Game Pass. Buy movies, whatever. Alright, let's see. I'm not looking, so it's going to be fair. Alright. Shuffle around with my fingers a little bit. <laughs> and the winner is Infinite Phoenix Gaming. Infinite Phoenix Gaming, you have won the $50 Xbox gift card. And I think you got a YouTube channel too, so congratulations Infinite Phoenix Gaming. And a shout out to you. Uh, go check out Infinite Phoenix Gaming. I'm pretty sure they got some Let's Play videos on YouTube I watched. Alright. Now I gotta pick a second prize winner. This person can pick... Um... I'll let the, the second prize winner pick two digital movie codes. And then other digital movie codes I might give away later when I get 300 subscribers. Alright. Let's see. For the digital movie code, I've got Ripped Hydra. Shout out to Rip Hydra. He's an awesome guitarist. Um, I'm looking... I like his music videos of video game music covers. He like covers Castlevania and Zelda and Donkey Kong Country. So check out the Rip Hydra YouTube channel. Um, it's in my featured channels. Congratulations, Rip Hydra. 
Um, you can pick out one of these movies and I'll send you the digital movie code. Uh, with the code, you can watch it on your phone or smart TV or tablet or whatever. All right, congratulations. I'm going to have to reply to Infinite Phoenix Gaming. And thank you all for subscribing. Please stay subscribed. Um, I will do more giveaways when I hit 300 subscribers, when I hit 500 subscribers, and when I hit a thousand subscribers, I got to do something big. If, when I ever get there. Now it's time to show off some game pickups. And I got some games, uh, uh, good deals at GameStop. I don't remember if it was like three for 30 or buy two, get one free, but I got Resident Evil Revelations 2 for Xbox One, which is awesome. I also got Resident Evil Revelations 1 on 3DS, and it was the one with the misprinted N label, and they spelled revelations wrong they put the they spelled it on the on the misprint 3ds game they spelled it r-e-v-e-l-a-i-t-o-n's so it was like revel i tons but this this one isn't misprinted but i bet it's going to look really good in in 4k uh and i'm looking forward to playing the 3ds one because i bet it looked awesome with a 3d effect and that um might be a rare game that will go up in price the uh 3ds version um i also picked up call of cthulhu on xbox it was only 4.97 on clearance at gamestop um looks like a interesting horror movie I mean, horror game. Maybe it has like cutscenes like a movie. But it's got um, you investigate a dark mystery in the Lovecraftian universe. So that should be interesting. This game was actually supposed to be brand new and sealed. But sometimes GameStop will do that thing where the display copy is the only one they have so it apparently it's never been played before but it's open so i don't know in my opinion it should be they shouldn't consider it new when when it's already open but um i couldn't really complain and i had to get it anyway since it was so cheap um, I also got these games um, on the 4 for 10. forgot what the other one I got was. It might have been a... Th oh, it was a 3DS game, I think. Moshi Monsters and these three on the 4 for 10. Two Worlds. Looks like a Western RPG on PS3. Um... Smackdown vs. Raw 2011 and WWE 2K12 um, or is this even a 2K game or is might this might have been before uh, the WWE games were 2K Uh, it's made by THQ, it's not made by 2K. But yeah, wrestling games are fun sometimes. Uh, my friend Steven likes wrestling. I like Smackdown on um, PlayStation 1, so I bet Smackdown versus Raw will probably be good. Uh, 
let's see what else what other games did I get recently oh got some cheap games on a pawn shop deal uh, this was a good deal at a pawn shop in Edgewood I got all three of these games for 25 Resident Evil 3 this is still 35 at GameStop so this one was ten dollars. Um, Sherlock Holmes on Xbox One. This game, I think, is slightly rare and it's worth about thirty dollars, which it isn't much, but that's kind of a lot for an old Xbox games. Xbox games usually are, don't hold their value as much as PlayStation and, and Nintendo. And this Men in Black Alien Crisis. A gun game for the Wii. You can use the Wii Zapper. And this one was only $5. So these three games for $20, that's a good deal. Um, and also hit up a thrift shop there. Uh, I got these games for like, they're $2.92 each. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Um, which actually, some of these had two games in it. Uh, I think I already moved the games, but one of them had Ace Combat 5 in it, too. Um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Rocket Power Beach Bandits. I used to watch Rocket Power when I was a kid on uh, Nickelodeon. I remember all the characters, Otto and Twister and Reggie and Sam. They called Sam Squid. It was a funny show and they're always like skating and surfing and doing all kinds of extreme sports. Um, oh, and then this one is like generic case of disc only games, but um, it has... Tony Hawk's Underground for Xbox. Um, and some of these games I'm going to sell or trade in. This one has Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on Xbox 360. Uh, I already have it on PlayStation 3. And uh, the Retro Game Store uh, Regen. They pay $8 for Black Ops 2. So that will be a good game to trade in. Alright, well that's... Um, oh, I got two more pickups. Oh, well, three actually. I'll save the best for last. Um, well, some people might think this is the best. The Last of Us Remastered and The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, for a while, I wasn't very interested in these games, but um, I guess I gave in to the hype because it, they kept wanting winning Game of the Year. And then my friend Steven kept talking about it, and he even named his kitten Ellie after the main character. So, I mean, if it people keep talking about it like that these must be really good games um and i like resident evil and i like story based games so uh, i'll probably i probably will enjoy it um i don't know why i i kind of wrote it off and didn't care about it for a while but uh everybody says it's so good and I don't know if I like Resident Evil games and story games with a lot of cutscenes. I'll probably like these. Um, the last one. This is one you could buy digitally with your Xbox gift card if you want. And this is a somewhat rare game that's going up in price a little bit. Panzer Dragoon Orta. It's a really cool game where you can fly on the back of a dragon. 
and it's exclusive to Xbox. The first Panzer Dragoon game is also included on the disc, but you have to unlock it. Um, the first Panzer Dragoon game was released on Sega Saturn, and they recently remastered it for Switch and PS4. And um, I don't know if they remastered the first one on Xbox One. They might have. But yeah, this is a great game. Very unique. Um, it's kind of like you fly um, on a dragon and shoot stuff. It's it's kind of like a rail shooter, but you're always moving, and you gotta you gotta like change directions of where you're aiming while you're flying on the dragon. Um, and sometimes you have to avoid obstacles and shoot down monsters. Um, it's really good. Uh, one of the Panzer Dragoon games, uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga, which is exclusive to Sega Saturn, and they haven't remastered it yet. That game is like a thousand dollars, complete in box, not even sealed. Sealed, I, I don't know. It'll be a crazy amount, but a thousand dollars for a game—that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was wondering. Is this game going to go up in price to that level? Probably not that level. Um, this one is exclusive on Xbox. Uh, Xbox games never usually go up that high. I got it for $33 on Mercari. And it's complete. Um, it's a little bit dirty. Um, but most of them are going for 40 to 45 on eBay, so I thought this was a good deal. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely recommend picking this up if you collect for Xbox, or if you won the, the contest, you could buy this digitally. I think it might be like $20 digitally, and it's backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. Alright, well that's all I have to show for today. Um, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and have a good day and congratulations to Infinite Phoenix Gaming and Rip Hydra for winning the contest.